Welcome gamers, Resident Evil 9 is shaping up to be the most ambitious game in the series, reportedly in development for around 8 years, making it the longest production time for any Resident Evil title. This raises the burning question, when will the game finally be announced? A recent leak, though not directly related to Resident Evil, might give us a clue about when we can expect a reveal. I also be sharing my predictions for Resident Evil 9, let's dive right in. Capcom has already confirmed they are working on Resident Evil 9. When this was first announced, many people were upset, saying it was obvious Capcom would make the next game. However, I don't think everyone understands how important this news is. The director of Resident Evil 9 is the same person who directed Resident Evil 7. Love it or hate it, there's no denying Resident Evil 7 is both a true horror and a true Resident Evil game. Some might disagree, but while many enjoyed Resident Evil Village, it didn't feel as scary as RE7. Village lacked the same intense atmosphere, and that's what the franchise needs, a return to the horror vibe that RE7 brought. Now, the big question everyone's asking is, when we will see the reveal trailer? Many of us expected the game to be announced in June, as Resident Evil games are often revealed at PlayStation events around that time. But Capcom didn't make an appearance, and the reveal hasn't happened yet. Interestingly, it turns out that Gollum was right. He faced criticism and was accused of spreading false information, but it looks like he was correct. RE9 has been delayed. Now, before you get upset about a possible delay for Resident Evil 9, don't lose hope just yet. There's still a good chance the game could release next year, and here's why. A new leak has surfaced not directly about Resident Evil, but connected to it. Several sources, including Jeff Grubb, who has a solid track record with industry leaks, are claiming that a PlayStation State of Play event is happening within the next two weeks. Since today is Friday, September 13th, this means we might see the event soon. Now, you might wonder. What this has to do with Resident Evil 9? Well, don't forget that the Tokyo Game Show is also happening this month. Capcom is scheduled to appear on September 26, and while there's nothing explicitly Resident Evil related on their website, they are showing off a lot of games. Rumors suggest that Capcom will be premiering a brand new game at the event. If these rumors are true, it's possible that Capcom could reveal Resident Evil 9 during the upcoming PlayStation State of Play. Then, at Tokyo Game Show, just a few days later, they could drop a another trailer or reveal even more about the game. The only other likely time for an RE9 reveal would be a Resident Evil showcase, but considering the surprise factor Capcom aims for, it's likely they'll stick with the PlayStation event for the big announcement. According to the latest leaks, Resident Evil 9 might be set in Southeast Asia, though this isn't confirmed. Even Das Golem mentioned that at one point the game was planned to take place there. This has sparked some interesting theories, especially when you consider the island setting is code Veronica, which takes place on Rockford Island in the Southern Ocean. If RE9 is set on an island too, Capcom could reuse assets from RE9 to speed up development for a Code Veronica remake. It's possible that after RE9's release, a Code Veronica remake could be next, with the RE9 assets helping to streamline its production. There are also rumors that RE9 will feature multiple playable protagonists, similar to how Resident Evil 6 worked. However, instead of splitting the game into multiple campaigns, RE9 might offer one single campaign where players can control different characters, similar to the original Resident Evil where you could play as either Chris or Jill. This approach could give us a larger, interconnected story, but with a variety of switching characters throughout. Resident Evil 9 is rumored to be an open world game, but not in the way you might think. Many fans are concerned that open world means it's lose the classic Resident Evil feel, but it's likely not going to be like a massive Ubisoft style open world with side quests and huge areas to explore. Instead, RE9 development has probably taken so long because the campaign is going to be much larger in scale. Think of it more like the free roam elements in the RE4 remake or even RE Village, where there was a large interconnected hub area. Capcom might expand on this concept for RE9, creating a bigger, more seamless environment without turning it into a sprawling traditional open world game. Additionally, features like the merchant requests from the RE4 remake, which fans loved, could make a return. Capcom could introduce a new merchant or a similar system. So while RE9 may have a larger world, it's not likely to stray too far from the Resident Evil formula. Thanks for watching. For more updates on Resident Evil 9 and other gaming content, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Until then, stay safe.